here at the Thinking Man site, we initially started with drop inlets here and the water would come down or as anticipated it would come down, make its way through an inlet into the permeable forebay. As we watched it, we retrofitted it with a catch basin. We believed the velocity of the water was not allowing the water to take a left-hand turn into the site with, at, as gravity fed. So it now drops into an inlet, it is piped to the forebay and the water enters the forebay there, making its way through the granite curbing into the water infiltration. The overflow is here in the water infiltration basin itself. If that gets inundated, the water pipe pipes to the lake. If in a real big rain event, there's too much water for this inlet, this in, the water will continue, make its way across the roadway down to a secondary stormwater site right down the road. In addition, there's a second sheet flow inlet from the roadway on that side of the site that makes its way through the reinforced turf to the four bay below.